urgency of this hour is the issue of rooting them in the Word of God and the purposes of God and raising them up to be His instruments, His agents, not as adjuncts in the mission of God, but agents in the mission of God. If you could picture boys and girls laying their hands on each other and praying and animals just sitting back with our mouths open, that's a little bit of what I saw this week. I saw kids pray in ways I have not seen animals, and I was astounded. <laughs> God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Just, I was praying over in a corner, and then whenever I got up to go actually teach the white page, I, my heart just started pounding, and something came over me, and then after that, I had no idea what I said. So, um, I was just standing there, I'm like, oh, God, please help me. I said something, I've got, I have no idea what I said. And even when he shouted out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And they, gave him, they asked him for some painkiller type stuff. He didn't take it because he wanted to go in, in it all for us. Just for us. And after those nine hours, he shouts out, it is finished. So I get up on stage and I'm about to talk. And I don't know, the Holy Spirit just kind of, just kind of poured out on me. I didn't really, I still really don't remember what I said at all. It also says that for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in our Christ Jesus Lord. Jesus died for your sins. He didn't die for his sins because he had no sins. Some were evangelists, some were teachers, some were comforters. It was just a joy. The youth and, and, and our churches are expected to be entertained. You guys are out there in the trenches. You're winning. I hear kids up here. I will get this kid. We will get these kids. You know, I heard, I heard it today. Today, I heard it last night. I, we expect to, for these kids to accept Jesus. I've never heard that from kids your age. To see our kids just shine up there and do the things that they do, it's amazing. I mean, they're fifth and sixth graders. They don't, you know, a lot of people don't do this. This is nothing that, you know, but they get up there and did everything. And for me, for never being on a trip like this, never, I was very scared. And I tell you, I'm blessed. And my life has changed from, from every, each and every one of you, and from our kids, and watching kids teach kids.